Now, you guys are probably seeing the title of this video like, yo, P, why the hell would you sell both of your beautiful cars? And yes, no haircut, no enhancements, the hairline is back. I don't even need to wear a hat no more. But let's not get off topic. You guys are wondering why I sold my cars. No, guys, I did not go bankrupt. I did not go broke. We, we are fine. But the thing that's very important that you guys have to know is that I feel like every time my career where I'm about to make a huge shift, I feel like, I know a car is a materialistic item, but I feel like me switching my car, I always do something big to kind of set the tone of the new direction I'm going to go. There's something I've been working on for a long time. And um, I want to talk about more in this video. But before I reveal what that thing is, I want you guys to see the process of me getting rid of my cars, bro. Y'all have to go through that process with me. All right, yo, ladies and gentlemen, a lot going on, bro. Literally, a lot going on. The whole goal is to get. I'm not sure if we're gonna get it today. I doubt we're gonna get it today. But I'm selling my BMW. I'm selling the Tesla Model X. This is the P-Mobile 1 and the P-Mobile 2.0. I'm trading it in to get a car. And it's either to get either a Lamb truck or a Cyber truck. Now, a lot of people have been saying Cyber truck. A lot of people have been saying Lamb truck. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Um, it's probably most likely not going to be today. But uh, we're going to check these out. But I'm for sure getting rid of these cars if you guys are wondering why i'm getting rid of these cars because i want to change it up you know what I'm saying? i've been having the p-mobile since 2019 bro i was so young bro literally p-mobile 2.0 the tesla model x in 2021 we're in 2024 i feel like it's nice it's now a healthy change let's go pick up the tesla and let's see how everything looks like and uh the 4g suit are, are, are the 4G, 4g's in the yeah. back okay where would you guys end up leaving the f at Boys, heavy. Yeah. Oh, man, labor. Labor. Come on, man. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. We gotta see. I got. I gotta wash my hands, bro. Bro, what the fuck? What did I just touch, gang? <sighs> bro, this is a lot. Yo, so we're at the dealership right now. We're gonna see what they can give me, you know what I'm saying? But like, I just wanna talk to y'all. Like, if y'all are in my situation, you know what I'm saying? Say, yo, P2, if I was you, I would do this, you know what I'm saying? Like, the Cybertruck is outside right now. If I was to get the Cybertruck, me personally, I would wrap it, and those rims, the stars, I would deck it out, you know what I'm saying? But if y'all think I should get something else, cause I know y'all like trackhawks, y'all like land trucks. I want to get a big body car, definitely. I'm definitely on big body vibes, so y'all let me know. Because right now, we're not set on what car we're going to get. We're just kind of just trying to really figure things out. It's like a 20% chance we're going to leave with a car today. But it's a high chance we pull the Cybertruck, though. But, like, I don't know. Y'all have to let me know in the comments. Realistically, some financial advice. I'm basically just trading cars. So, like, this is like a clean swap. People on the internet, you know what I'm saying? Y'all are family, so y'all going to know. But people on the internet probably going to be like, damn, bro. He really just hold out on the cyber truck. I did, but my nigga, I got it for free. I just literally swapped my cars out. And when I swapped these cars out, my cars are paid off. So literally the cyber truck is paid off and I have a fly cyber truck to play around with. You know what I'm saying? That's if I go cyber truck. Lambo is a little bit more expensive. You know what I'm saying? It's not too far off, but if I do cyber truck, it's gonna be paid off the shelf to shelf. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I look more to go cyber truck because it's like a clean trade. Like nigga, I'm not dropping no money. I'm just leaving off a lot with a fly cyber truck. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? But in terms of, for the people that be pocket watching, you love financial shit of what YouTubers are doing behind the scenes. Yes. If I trade this car and they're doing numbers and running numbers, I'll have this car for free. So we'll see what happens. It's just such like a <laughs> it's just like a sleek vehicle. Like there's not much to it. <laughs> there's really like not much to it when you really think about it. It's just like Yeah, bro, like Yeah, let me talk to y'all next. Bro, these niggas trying to scam scam me like crazy. I ain't going for that, bro. Bro, I've been Dealing with cars a lot in my life, bro. When dealerships, bro, when you're dealing with trade-ins and stuff like that, they just want to see what you're willing to take. If you're, if I was willing to take the first offer, they're gonna be like, oh yeah, we about to make profit, bro. You just gotta say like, I don't need your whip. You think I really need this car? 
I don't need this car. So I'm gonna stand on 10 toes down and I'm just gonna wait. You know what I'm saying? Realistically, I could sell both my cars individually. Then once I sell my cars individually, I don't need to go to a private dealer. I could just go to someone that's selling and they're not gonna hit me with the same fees that they're trying to hit me with. So they're, they're, they're hoping I don't sell my car. They're hoping I don't sell my car because if I sell my car, I do not have to go to these niggas. Bro, there's people that I know that are selling this car for six figures with it already matte black, less miles, and it's not a private dealer. So it's, you're not gonna have to go through like a lot of bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason why when I say that I can sell my car, that's king, that's power. I'm giving y'all a lot of game, bro. So this is the end of the road, y'all. In terms of the BMW, the two P mobiles. The car I'm gonna get, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna reveal the car I'm gonna get right now, bro. But um, yeah, we're about to trade these cars in. But first of all, y'all have to see this, bro. This is a this is a um a old school Lambo, but that is a Bugatti. You know, there's not every day that you see a Bugatti like right in your face, bro. This car <laughs> This car goes for $5 million. $5 million. Yeah, bro. You guys want to say your last goodbyes? These cars held it down, bro. Held it down, bro. This vehicle right here, when I was going crazy over Fortnite, I wanted to get my dream car. This was my dream car in high school, bro. It's tough, bro. It's literally tough, bro. Like, I've been having cars for so long. And to move on to bigger and better things, bro, I'm excited, bro. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, a lot of y'all might just be watching and just like, damn, how can you do that? When you, see, when you see the car I'm gonna get, you're gonna understand, but not just that ending this year off, there's so much I'm gonna do to end the year where like, I just need to flip the page. I need, I need to flip this chapter and this next chapter right here, I call this chapter like, I call this chapter. If you, want, if you wanna look at the chapter, if you're reading a book, this chapter is called patience. Patience, everything's patience, bro. It's like a butterfly, bro. I'm like a fucking cocoon. I'm a butterfly, bro. It's patience and it's being smart. You guys might not understand what I'm talking about, but I feel like the last two years, the last year and a half, I got addicted to instant gratification. This era of my life, bro, is delayed gratification. I'm being very patient and a lot of things are, that are gonna bloom in the next couple of months, the end of the year, y'all will see that shit. And the next car I'm gonna get is gonna be the face of that. I'm looking at emotional, bro. Let me have a combo. We ran it up. We ran it up. I'm gonna miss you. You're going to a new owner? No, 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 don't look. You're making this very hard. I know you're gonna be good with a new owner, but you have to understand that what I'm doing in my life, I need to take this next step, okay? You'll be okay. Yeah, yes, sir. I remember exactly how it was when I bought this shit, bro. Uh -huh. We'll do the Tesla first. Yeah, kind of, it's kind of emotional, bro. Still hitting, huh? Yeah. My man. business partner Austin, he just he had his Jeep for like two or three years, and he just sold it today. He had he was like kind of going bro. To it's like I didn't think it'll be like this. Like I'm, I'm getting a new car and everything. I'm just like I just feel sad, bro. I know, man. It's like I'm breaking up with a girl. Straight up tomorrow, bro. That's fire. We're gonna see how it goes, man. It is the end of the era. Next bro, chapter. I, bro, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like, when I was seeing now, like, in the chair, bro, I was getting emotional, bro. Bro, right? You can see it too, right? right? Now when you were signing yeah, bro, because when I was doing it, I was just like, damn, bro. Like, yeah. it's mainly for the, for the I8, mainly, bro. Yeah, I was that just was like, OG. That's an OG, bro. I was just like, fuck. I feel like you got the, I feel like the, the, your Tesla buy was like, one of those like, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I ain't gonna lie, like. I remember when you told me, uh, hit me up randomly, like, yeah, I'm gonna get the Tesla. Yeah, but the, the Tesla by y'all was like more like, I appreciate it, but it's more like, man, like, fuck it. But that <laughs> one is really like, bro, yeah. I used to have the BMW i8 on my lock screen in high school, bro. Yeah. I was like, bro, I'm gonna get this car. So that <laughs> one, that one. It's some more emotions. Yeah, it, that one's really gave me emotions. Tesla's like, man, fuck it, man. I know it opened like that. That's crazy. <laughs> A Ferrari truck, y'all. 500k Ferrari truck. 500k Ferrari truck, bro. I ain't never seen one of these in my life, bro. Yeah. 
pretty this is good. amazing. Than... I don't know why I, I mess with the seats opening up like that, yeah, bro. That's good. hard. I, I was not expecting that, bro. You got the V12. Big ass hood, bro. Right. Hard, yeah, the bro. hood is filled. I ain't gonna lie. This is, I've never seen one of this. This car got it, bro. The Ferrari. Yeah. Can you change your mind about the Cybertruck yeah. now? Or? Man, I said, bro. <laughs> I, I, <laughs> half a two, man. You, you, give me, you give me this for 100K fucking. <laughs> <laughs> Insane how high the hood goes. In there. I was yeah, living right there right now. Everything like the way they designed this is just like unique. All right, man, be easy. All right, yes, sir. Damn, bro. Whoa, man. I know I didn't show you the same love. I didn't show you the same love as a BMW, but you always knew you was never the main hoe. But you were a good, good one, bro. Like you're the one when the BMW will give me problems. You would show up and not give me the same problems, but I loved you too, bro. Both of y'all niggas with the stars in the ceiling, bro. My next b gonna have stars too, but that doesn't that doesn't mean that y'all were not special. Y'all held me down, bro. So many bangers were made. I love y'all, bro. I literally love y'all. The next person that's in this car, don't give him the same love. Just always remember me, bro. All right. Moral of the story, just. Bruh, every time you f the next guy, you think about me, all right? Let's get it over with. It's sad, bruh. Jesus, bro. Jesus, Jesus, please. Jesus. Hey, look, 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 are they trained? Los, are they trained? Los, are they trained? This one. Oh, this one is like kids. A little bit. This one's trending. Hey, Jesus Christ. No, Los, I'm not walking in. Los, I'm not walking in. Los, I'm not oh, walking in. Come on, bro. Come in. They're this, good. They're good. They're good. It's just the black one. Bro. It's just the black one. Bro. Like, just don't look at the black one for too long. This one's fine. The other one. Los, that shit. That's not a dog. Bro. If you Lose, stare at him for too long, he thinks you're racist. That's not the dog. Lose, that's not the dog. I got your feet, I'm holding this motherfucker. Bro, that's that's not the dangerous one. It's this one. Why are you? Lose, 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 you look like you're scared of this one. Lose, I hope both of dog. these niggas. You're scared of this one? That's not a dog, Los. That's not a dog. Nah, <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? Hey, y'all, this might be the car that I get uh, tomorrow. Uh, you guys don't know what car I'm getting tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? That's that's still in question. You guys are gonna find that tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? We in the lamb trucky, lamb chops. Subscribe, turn it off, okay, but show, show them the, the man, show them the seats. They know, they know what we in, bro. You know what I'm saying? There's my need to know, but nah. Tomorrow, you guys, you guys will know what car I get, and yeah, make sure you guys turn your notifications, tap in, and we're gonna be out, man. Now that you guys have seen why I sold my cars, you guys saw the process, you guys saw how emotional that was for me. Now, let's fully explain why I am selling that car. I told you guys I have a new journey that I wanna do. I'm still gonna be doing YouTube. I'll never leave content. I came to the conclusion, bro, content is who I am. If I don't have the ability to create content, I don't know where I'd be. But I actually am starting a line. Okay, and um, to be honest, if you guys don't know much about me, this is not just a get rich quick, a money scheme for me. If you guys really know the history of P2's name, the reason why I even started YouTube was because of a clothing line. What does that mean? When I was in high school, I used to sell my clothing line straight out of my backpack in school. The teachers used to like literally bring me up to the principal's office and be like, hey, you can't be making money on school. I used to be doing this out my backpack and that's how I actually made my first thousand dollars ever in my life, just off my clothing line. So when I was doing my clothing line, it was doing great locally. But reality set in when I graduated high school. When I graduated high school, I didn't, I didn't have like the same market, you know, cause I was killing it in school. But you know what happens when people graduate, people go on to the next chapter of their life. I remember my brother told me, he literally told me the best advice, shout out to P1. He told me, look, there's either two things that can happen with your clothing line. Either one, you get your clothing line on high value people, people that have influence, or two, you're a nobody and you become the influencer. I tried number one for a couple weeks, no one would respond to my DM at all. So I said, 
Okay, I'ma do number two. I'ma become that influencer. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy P2 is a name, man. And that's what created P2 is a name. If you guys go to like my earlier stages in my YouTube career, you'll see that I used to wear a brand called Wally Co. That was a brand I was doing in high school. I was a broke student trying to make a way. I always wanted this. So this is not a thing. I've been doing this since 2015, bro. Now the difference is, if I'm being honest with you guys and being transparent, the difference is, I'll go back to my brother's question. You either become the influencer or you get high value people to wear it. Now I have two of those things. So I think what you guys are about to see right now is a full circle moment. And I think it's something that I really want to do for my brother. I want to show that he was right. And if you guys want to see a video where I deep dive, show you guys the behind the scenes of making this brand, I could drop a dedicated video towards that because there's a lot of things I've been filming. This is not a get rich scheme. I finally have the funds to deliver the best quality and get it on the flyest people in the world, bro. I have the connects to do that. I'm never going nowhere with YouTube. I'm always going to be here, but this is something that I would love for you guys to see that journey. If you guys want to see a dedicated video, comment, don't mind this in the comment section. Just comment, don't mind us, and I'll show you guys how much time I've been putting into this shit. There's no way I'm just gonna make screen printed t-shirts like I was doing in high school when I had no money. Now, I mean, I kinda have a little money to do some shit. It's a little different now. Thank you guys for watching this video. The car I end up do buying, that car is gonna be the face of the project that I'm working on. Thank you guys for supporting me, and I'll catch you guys in the next video tomorrow.